Well, good morning. It's Monday, July the 12th. And today's devotion, which I wrote, I don't know, 12, 13 years ago, uh, is pertinent to today in, in my own personal life. It's entitled, Save It or Shave It. If you were at FBC on Sunday, you saw something unusual. I was sporting a beard. I didn't have enough growth to impress anybody, but it was the first beard of my life. I was pleasantly surprised that it filled in well enough because 25 years ago, I grew a mustache that looked like a sparse collection of wooden staves guarding a trench during ancient warfare. This modest success, however, created some disturbing questions for me. Why do I have so many gray whiskers? Why does hair grow so fast on my face when prayer, fasting, and minoxidil have no effect on the back of my head? Why do people feel compelled to tell me they don't like the beard, even though I haven't asked them? The answer to the first two questions, regrettably, is that I'm old. The answer to the third question, well, I'm not sure if that is a sign of people's comfort level with me, or if it reveals a need for greater discretion and control over the use of the tongue. Either way, I'm sure the fact that I'm old factors in there too. After receiving a number of unsolicited opinions, I decided to do an informal survey. The results were interesting. It seems that an unshaven face is another one of those generational dividing lines. Most of those under 30 wanted me to save it, while most of those over 30 wanted me to shave it. Colleen likes the way it looks, she has an under 30 mentality, but doesn't like the way it feels. Come this Sunday and see if I still have it. I was surprised by how many changes the beard created. Number one, I developed the habit of gently stroking my barely there whiskers as would a wise grandfather rocking on the front porch. I didn't think I actually gained wisdom, but I'm pretty sure I looked more contemplative. I was able to get ready more quickly in the morning. My teeth looked whiter. I had to wipe my mouth more frequently when eating. My chin and my cheeks felt itchy, which is something I don't recall before. And a number of people told me I looked younger. I found that particularly interesting since my earlier attempt at a mustache was an effort to look older. There's one more thing I found interesting about this experiment. I didn't have to actually do anything to grow a beard. I just had to stop doing something. Shaving. Evidently, whiskers are like weeds. They draw strength from neglect. I didn't fertilize my face with Rogaine, and I didn't wonder if my facial hair would grow if I stopped shaving. I knew it would. I'm in this phase of life in which my eyebrows, ears, and nose manufacture hair at an astonishing rate. I don't know why men were blessed with this delayed genetic gift, but I'm sure at some time in history it was a good thing. It protected us. Whiskers and weeds have something in common with our spiritual attitude. Neither one requires attention to survive. Neglect and or inattention actually allows them to prosper. When it comes to our spiritual attitude, the growth is negative. If we don't consciously guard our hearts, they grow stubble. Changing our appearance, our behavior, and the way people react to us. This is why Proverbs admonishes, guard your hearts with all diligence, for out of it come the issues of life. And, he adds, a merry heart makes a cheerful countenance. Nothing is wrong with facial hair, of course, but as a metaphor for spiritual grooming, it shows how much a little thing can have a great impact. Have you been allowing stubble to grow in your life because you're not taking the time for daily spiritual maintenance? You might not think anybody can notice, but they do. The character qualities that make the Christian life so powerful are manifest when we take the necessary steps to add them to our lives, which is what 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 through 9, Ephesians 4, verse 22 through 32, and Colossians 3, verse 8 through 14 are all about, the taking off and the putting on of qualities. But the negative character qualities grow automatically. Every day, Look in the mirror of the Word of God and make the effort to put your best face forward spiritually. Let's stay well-groomed. Our Heavenly Father, we do thank you that uh, you have given us the responsibility of monitoring our lives and, and uh, being honest uh, with self-examination and assessment and 
to daily confess our sins and to strive to improve the uh, spiritual disciplines of our lives. And we know that you will reward those efforts. We ask you to help us today to be alert and aware to the neglect that often sneaks into our lives, that leaves us spiritually ungroomed. And we ask you to help us to be committed every day to being our best for you. For we ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a great Monday, and that we'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday, where we'll talk about Sky Mall Revisited. And Sky Mall is something you'll remember maybe 10 years ago, used to be on airplanes. Bye-bye.